If you want to learn how to make this tutorial system with badge awards, make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out how to do it, or if you want the whole model, check out the Patreon, first link in the description. Okay, so for the start I already have set up like three areas, I don't know what these should represent, doesn't really matter, it's just so I can show you easily how to make this system, and actually we should probably insert a folder. So rename it to tutorial cameras, I will insert a part inside, I make it something like this, then right click it and go to the show orientation indicator so we know uh, where is the front side so the camera will be looking something like this. So one there, here probably, and then last one here. Um, so you can basically have as many of these as you want, although I do not recommend it to be like a high number, maybe 5 at best considering the player will probably be very bored if the tutorial is too long or if it doesn't really make sense. And let's just rename these into numbers so it's easier to navigate them. Okay, so we have 1 to 3, that's okay. And before we continue, go to your game, this is my tutorial place I always use, and go to the engagement and at the badges, you should create a new badge, welcome badge. So there's like a few ways you can do it, you can like save a ball value, so if the player joined first time and they doesn't have the ball value saved or whatever, but I think this is the easiest way because Roblox automatically saves this, so you know if you already have it, and then when you join the game they give it to you. Okay, we'll put that image for now, create badge. Okay, so now we have a, a badge uh, and I'll copy, is it? Asset ID? I think it's Asset ID, I'm pretty sure it is. So now that we have that, go into Starter GUI, we will uh, rename this Tutorial, yeah sure, we can just do that. Insert a frame, and let's just resize it uh, accordingly, so it views a scale. Okay, so, uh, actually no, let's make it a bit smaller so it's not really that ugly. Okay, so I customize this a bit and I will add a text label. Should probably also do okay, not that. Something like that. Make it a bit smaller, probably. So this is where your like tutorial text will go. Make sure it's like majority of this, and maybe you can even put it so it's all, and we can have buttons like go above it. But I like to leave a bit of space for the buttons, or actually the button. Uh, depends if you want it to for the player to be able to like go back to like a so for example what i'm saying is if you have like uh, one text here and they click a button and go to the next thing should they be able to go back to the last thing or not um, i will show you both of those ways so you can just delete the one that goes back if you don't want that let's disable that with something like this and a stroke like that okay so this will just be our text, and I will add a button, so text button, probably also resize it, so something like this. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this looks really ugly, but I think it will do for now. Uh, so this should be like front, we'll, we'll rename it like that, okay, so front back, that's okay. Uh, local script, okay, tutorial handler, that seems appropriate name. Okay, so let's start with this. First, we'll get players. So, we can actually use our badge ID and the badge we made. Call camera equals workspace dot uh, current camera, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, the current camera you can only get inside the local script. That's the reason why we'll be using this. But also because this is a screen GUI, so it just makes more sense. Tutorial cameras, workspace, and low wait for child. Even though it's not really necessary here, but parents, so that will be our main GUI. Local um, prompt button equals GUI.frame. You should probably get frame too. So GUI.frame. So we can just name this for this, okay. And then uh, I'll do wait for child front, local back, button equals frame, wait for child back. And of course we need to get our text. Uh, wait for child, 
text. Okay, so that are all of our variables for now. Or actually, we also need welcome badge. And make sure to paste your badge uh, asset ID. And then has badge. This will be our first function. And actually above it, we should probably first add a um, varb badge. So this is how you will actually get the badge. So we'll do local success, comma, result equals p call and then we'll do a function and here we can return badge service and then award yeah okay it's award badge and we can do player dot user id comma welcome badge yeah sure actually should probably do this so makes more sense if success then uh, we can also if not require that result and i don't know we can just print uh, badge awarded else print this is the one okay then player already has uh, like this badge okay so we just know uh, if the player has or has just been given the badge here we need else i don't know we can do war probably just if something doesn't go that like it's supposed to so i don't know fail to award the badge that's okay okay so i think that's it from this uh we should probably move on to the has badge function so again local success comma has badge equals p call and i forgot to put a function so function inside return badge service and then i think okay yes so user has badge async player dot user id comma welcome badge id so this is how you check if the player has a badge and let's drop down line uh, return success and has badge uh, or i should have probably renamed that but i think it's okay like this so that's it from that or actually yeah i'm just thinking should we award it straight away no okay so i think what we'll do is to make sure the player is actually going through tutorial so they know how to play we will award them this badge at the end of the tutorial just in case someone leaves or gets kicked or something like that you know okay so camera parts tutorial cameras get children do if camera i should probably put camera part but whatever is a um, base part so we need to check if it's an actual part we can then do table uh, dot insert and then camera parts comma camera okay so just what we did is create a table and then insert a camera part or actually each camera part inside the tutorial cameras that is a base part which i actually don't know how necessary this is but i think it will be kind of easier to do it this way and I also want to like start using more tables because I think they can be really efficient and I noticed that I haven't been especially in the tutorials really using them and is this okay this is two number a dot name and then is it no I think it's this one here yeah. and then again two number b dot name so this is basically just sorting them through how uh, they're named by numbers because they're one two three just so we can get inside of this table just so it doesn't go like three one two or something like that so we can have them in a nice order and we'll put current camera equal to one because that's the starting camera and we can do local function set camera and let's do index inside so the index will be the number um, where we are at currently okay so then camera part will be equal to camera parts and then uh, we'll do these brackets not instance index so that will be our number that will send when the uh, this function fires then the camera part so we just need to check if it's actually there in case something goes wrong we know to actually need to fix something and then we'll do 
enum dot camera type and scriptable. So what does scriptable do? So if you change a camera type to scriptable, I mean it's pretty self-explaining so you can just manipulate the camera with the script. And then camera part dot c frame. Okay. So that's it from this function. Another function. Uh, I think this tutorial will have a lot of these mini functions. Update the GUI. Uh, yeah, let's do text or text equals. Uh, I don't know actually. What, what what could be right? I haven't actually thought about this. So tutorial step. Um, yeah, we can just do that. Current. Camera index. Oh, but oh. Okay, I'll, I will rename um, this thing rather than changing this. Okay, and then if current camera index um, is equal to hashtag camera parts, I think that should work. Front button dot text equals and tutorial tutorial okay else uh, front button the text equals this okay so basically what i did here is uh, of course tutorials yeah i'm not sure about this uh we should probably create something better than this and actually to have a text so i guess we could make a table local um tutorial text equals and then create a table I don't know, 1 equals step 1 um, 2 Bro, I really can't type today Step 2 3 equals step 3 Okay So we can probably use that Okay, so then we should actually just change it from this to Tutorial text and um, current camera index yeah i think that's okay so basically i just change it so it's very customizable so and also if you have more cameras of course just add a comma i like four and so on but now we can just change the text you need so for this area you can have one text for this another and so on and this part down here basically if we come to the like max camera so if you're at the camera three and then the button text will change from uh, this sign to end tutorial so the player knows they can either end tutorial or go back to the previous camera but of course you now need to actually be able to move to uh, the camera so local function move to camera and yeah we don't need anything inside if current camera index is less than hashtag camera parts um, current camera index plus equals one and then we can do set camera current camera index because we use the index right here so that's all good and we can also call update GUI and we can do else camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot I think it's custom yeah we can do player load character NGI.enabled equals false. Okay, so that's it from that. Now we just need a front button dot mouse button one click. Connect function. Oh, and of course, I actually forgot to do one thing. Award badge. So, yeah, we should probably call that. So, we can actually award the player their badge after they've completed the tutorial. Actually, we don't need a function. We need move to camera like that. And I think we can do the same thing here. And then if not uh, has badge, then what should we do? Like player load character and then false. And then we can call set camera current camera index and also update GUI and GUI, not the game, but the GUI not enabled equals true else. I don't know, a GUI that enables equals false. Okay, so we have some errors. Okay, so load character can only be called. Oh, okay. 
Actually, we can just put a comment, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So I don't know why was the purpose of me putting a comment there. And let's see, does it work now? Okay. And okay, yeah. As you can see, step one. Oh, and we didn't and and hurt them, did we? Okay. Oh, and one more thing, I actually forgot to um fix. Okay, yeah, I should probably fix that because currently it just moves the camera to the next one. Okay, so let's fix this now. Okay, so right here we should put if current camera index is equal to one, then um back button or actually no, we should just put like that, but mag button dot text equals to this uh, back button dot active because true else um probably just repeat this and delete that and put false and now we should probably make another function move to previous camera kind of a long name but okay Current camera index is larger than one, then current camera index minus equals one. I uh, should do set camera, current camera index, and yeah, of course, update UI else. Um, back button text should, yeah, I, should, I don't, probably don't need this here then. Why? Because we can just put it here, it, it just makes more sense. Okay. Okay, when I, okay, I should probably make it invisible, or actually not invisible, but like not to have text at the start, but doesn't matter. If I press this, okay, as you can see, we can go behind step one, step two, step three, and then we have end tutorial, but I can also go back. Okay, so I don't know how I didn't notice this before, but this function really won't work in local script. We can't have a badge awarding in a local script that's only server sided. So what we will do is cut this whole function and insert a remote event here and also a server script. I will rename it badge uh, award. And here we can do local badge service. Also game, get service, badge service, and then I'll just paste this and you also need to copy the welcome badge ID. Something like that. And we also should get a remote event. Script the parent dot remote event. You can rename it if you want. And then we just need to do um, remote event dot on server event connect function. We just need to get the player and then we just do award badge player okay i'm missing r okay and i'll just copy this again and i'll paste it here and i think it's right here we need to put it so re um fire server and that's pretty much it we don't need to put anything so now uh let's see if it works and let's just so we can test it. Oh, we actually have the print, so that's okay. Okay, so now if we play, we go one step. Okay, we can do that. We can go behind. And then if we end the tutorial, we get badge awarded, as you can see. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.